this problem we're given a sequence, which is just a list of numbers. It's 4, 12, 36, and then that dot, dot, dot just means it continues on to infinity. So it's going to be an infinite sequence. But we just want to figure out what the tenth term is. And if you look at each number, 4, 12, and 36, you could see that they're growing by 3. Um, or I should say, uh, we're multiplying each number by 3 and that gives our next one. So you could just continue on multiplying each number by 3 and then eventually get to the tenth term but there's a quicker way to do that and that just means we're going to use a formula. And this is the formula. It's going to be a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 power. And a sub n will represent our tenth term. So I'm going to write a sub 10 instead and then a sub 1, that represents our first number in the sequence, which is going to be 4. And then our r is our common ratio. So we know that it's geometric, means we're multiplying each number by a certain number. 12 divided by 4 will give us that ratio, so that's going to be 3. And if you're wondering, like, well, is that really it? Well, try it again. You take another number, which is 36, divide it by the previous number, and that will give you... 3 as well. Okay, so back to the equation. Um, n represents the number of terms in our sequence. So if we're looking for the tenth term, then that means we have 10 terms total, and we're going to subtract 1. Now we just got to simplify some things. So um, we're going to have 4 times 3 to the 10 minus 1 is 9. And then we could do 4 times 3 to the ninth power. That's going to be 19,000. 683 and then 4 times that we'll have 78,732 and then that's going to be a sub 10 which represents our 10th term in the sequence